Close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. Try not to think about anything else. In particular, don't think about how hot it is outside. Of course, when I say that, that's the first thing you think about. But then drop that thought. Be with the breath. The heat is going to do its thing, whether you comment on it or not. You don't have to make any comments. Remember that story of a John Fuang? Suddenly found himself in a rainstorm. He had already set up his umbrella tent. He would looked around in the evening, hadn't seen any clouds at all. And then suddenly at midnight that storm came up from who knows where. And it's one of the traditions in the forest tradition that when you set up your umbrella tent in the evening, you don't move, which means you have to be careful when you set it up. But you take it as a sign of truthfulness. Say, once you've made up your mind where you're going to stay, you stay. You don't go run away. And this meant, of course, that he had to sit right there. The umbrella tent didn't provide much protection against the rain. So he put all his robes, except for one, into his bowl to keep him dry. And then sat there, and the theme of his meditation was, the body may be wet, but the mind isn't wet. And with that theme, he was able to get his mind into concentration. So today the problem is different. The heat, there's going to be heat which affects the body, but the, there's nothing in the mind itself that has to be affected by the heat. When you say that the mind is hot and bothered, that's just a, an analogy. It's because it lays claim to the body and then suffers because of what's happening to the body. A clear example of how our craving and clinging cause suffering. So here's your chance to basically say, no, the heat is its own thing. I don't have to get involved. I can do what I can. Remember also the image of the, the loop player. Figure out how much energy you can expend, how to save your energy, and not get upset that you can't do more than you can in the course of the day. Adjust your activities to the heat, and then above all, adjust your mind so that you're with the breath, you're with the object of your concentration. And you're not adding any extra suffering on top of that. Sort things out, separate things out in the mind like this. And you find that they weigh a lot less on the mind. It's when the mind pulls things in and lays claim to them, that's when it weighs itself down. So here's your opportunity not to be weighed down. So you can survive the heat. The end of the heat will come. In the meantime, learn how to have the right attitude and learn how to divide things up and separate things out. So you can focus on the areas that are not affected by the heat and focus on the tasks that you can still do in spite of the heat and let everything else go. That's how you survive. <laughs>